Falcon 9 is on its way to delivering the Dragon spacecraft for its 14th commercial resupply services mission. Coming up in about 10 seconds, we have max Q, maximum aerodynamic pressure. That's one of the highest stress states on the vehicle. Vehicle is supersonic. Vehicles experiencing maximum dynamic pressure. Just passed through Max Q. This first stage burn will last for about another minute and 10 seconds. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. Come back ignition. And what you just saw there was a successful shutdown of the nine Merlin engines of our first stage, followed by separation of our first stage from our second stage using uh, four pneumatic actuators at the forward end of the stage. Uh, and then after that, you saw ignition of our upper stage engine. And that is a view from the forward end of our second stage looking inside Dragon's trunk as it separates from the second stage. Those are three of the science experiments we're taking up to the International Space Station. A tous de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage du Vulcan. Allumage des EAP, décollage. La propulsion est nominale. Right on time, as the DDO says all is normal on board, Ariane 5 began her mission, leaving the ground here in French Guiana with a roar of the engines, a lot of fire, and with two new satellites. Everything okay on board, the DDO says. The two boosters are providing 90% of our thrust right now, propelling the launcher along her trajectory as she reaches into the open sky above the clouds at an ever higher velocity. 774 tons at liftoff, remember, and to get that sort of mass off the ground, you need a lot of push, and push we have. She's burning five tons of fuel every second, two and a half tons in each booster, plus the core stage burning another 300 kilos per second. Les paramètres bord sont normaux. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, zero, plus one, plus two, plus so, three, plus four. Vehicle plus has five lifted seconds. off from the first launch pad. Lift off normal. Lift off normal has been announced by the range operation director. Are tracking? P3 tracking. R3 tracking. P2 tracking. PSL VC 41 ka prajulan saman. First stage performance the car normal. Saaf prati thoti hui uski 
दहन क्षमता और गर्जना ग्राउंड लीड स्टैप ऑन हैज बिन इग्नाइटेड सो एज आई वॉज मैंशनिंग वी हैड द इग्निशन ऑफ द सॉलिड कोर स्टेज फोर फोर स्टैप ऑन्स which was followed by the ignition of the air lift strap on at 25 seconds we are almost 43 seconds into the flight now and uh, the first vehicle, stage performance normal first stage performance is normal the altitude is around uh, 12 25 status check go atlas go centaur go at space 11 t minus 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 we have ignition 2 1 and lift off of the united launch alliance atlas 5 rocket with af space 11 from the united states air force good chamber pressure across all five srbs on a closed loop control now passing 20 seconds into flight continue to see good pump speeds and injector pressures on the RD180 30 seconds in and vehicle's now passing Mach 1 SRB chamber pressure continues to look good across all five SRBs you are hearing the now passing max Q maximum dynamic pressure vehicle ascent data Injector pressures on the RD-180 continue to look good. Uh, SRB chamber pressure is also looking good. Now passing one minute into flight, and the launch vehicle is now nine. Uh, correction, 11 miles in altitude, seven miles downrange distance, traveling at 2,300 miles per hour. One minute, 15 seconds into flight, and we should be expecting SRB burnout momentarily. Chamber pressures on the SRB is tailing off, and we have burnout on all five SRBs. One minute, forty seconds into flight. RD-180 uh, pump speeds and injector pressures look good in uh, full thrust mode, and we have good jettison of all five SRBs. Vehicle's gone to closed loop guidance. <clears throat> Now passing two minutes into flight, Mach five. Stage one is at startup pressures. T minus 15 seconds. Falcon 9A is configured for flight. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition. Lift off. As you just saw, Falcon 9 has successfully cleared the pad and is now on its ascent with the test spacecraft in its fairing. Now coming up in about 15 minutes, you're going to hear the call out that Falcon 9 will have hit max Q. That stands for maximum aerodynamic pressure. That is the point at which 
the rocket is seeing its highest stresses on its ascent. The vehicle has passed maximum aerodynamic pressure. You can tell by the cheers and what you heard on that call out, we have gotten through max Q. Coming up next, you're going to hear uh, the call for MVAC and MVAC chilling. And chill has begun. And that was it. That is where we chill in that Merlin vacuum engine down to operating temperature. Now coming up here shortly, you're going to hear three big events happening in rapid succession. The first is MECO, that stands for Main Engine Cutoff. That is where all nine of the first stage engines are going to shut down. That's in preparation for the next step, which is stage set or stage separation. That is where stage one will separate from stage two. Stage one will make its way back down to the drone ship. Stage two will continue on. MECO. Stage separation confirmed. All right, and as you just saw, we had a successful stage separation and a successful ignition. landing of a Falcon 9 first stage. That beautiful image of the Earth behind us there. It's one of the planets Tess is going to look at in its lifetime. And as you can see there, we have had successful separation of the Tess spacecraft. And it's going on on its beautiful mission to look at thousands of planets outside of our solar system. is hauling itself against the gravity of our planet. The first stage is pushing us away from Earth. We need a lot of firepower to do that. Nick, what's our trajectory? So at the moment we're heading north-northwest, um, so we're heading up over the Arctic Ocean, and we're heading uh, in this directory because we want a, a polar orbit uh, when we finally separate, so that Sentinel-3 will be roughly 98 degrees in inclination, which is the angle from the equator to the orbit. 